Oh, hi everyone. Welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Today we're going to do a very quick lesson on uh, setting up your movie poster, doing some very simple font and text effects, learning a little bit about blending modes, and how to install new fonts on your computer. So let's get started. So over here in Photoshop, I'm going to go up to New File, and for your movie poster, we've kind of given you a preset size of 18 by 24 inches, okay? And make sure you set your resolution to 150 pixels per inch, and then we're going to click Create. Okay, so there is our uh, size right now for our movie poster. And uh, let's bring in a reference image here. So we are going to be recreating the Mad Max Fury Road text effect here for our movie poster. So let's copy and paste that and bring that in as a reference. Okay, uh, let's create uh, yet another new layer, drag it down. Let's go to this and fill it in black. Perfect. Okay, so let's start off by uh, going to the font tool over here on the left. Well, our computer's just all in there. Yes, yeah, so let's go to the font tool. Don't want that one. I want that one there. And we're just going to type in uh, Mad Max. Excellent. Looks good. Let's take this font here and let's scale it up. Okay. Well, we got a few things wrong with this font. We have the uh, the wrong color, of course. We have, uh, while that's an interesting font, that's not a font that matches what's in the movie poster. So let's address some of these issues first. Uh, first of all, let's just kind of uh, change the color of the font here. So let's take the font, let's go for the color, and let's sample from our actual movie poster down here. When we select the color on the side, we can use the eyedropper to grab a color from the actual movie poster. Excellent. Okay, so um, uh, the font color looks pretty good. Uh, let's go and get a better font that suits our movie poster more, okay? So the font website that we talk often about in class is dafont.com. And uh, this is a sans serif font. So I've selected sans serif here from the basic fonts. And I'm just going to type in Mad Max. Let's set the size to large. And let's click Submit. Okay. And we're just going to look for a font that is similar. You're not going to be able to find the exact same font. Don't worry about it too much. You'll notice when you do a side-by-side -side comparison. But when you're done your movie posters and we have them printed on the wall, we're not really going to be doing any side-by-side -side comparisons. We're looking for an M that kind of dips down low and is flat at the bottom. Okay. Uh, the Akira one's not too bad. Let's see what else we got here. The bold font's okay. Um, but we'll notice our we got straight up and down lettering. So let's look for something that's got straight up and down lettering. The headlines has got that, but the M doesn't come all the way down. Uh, let's see here. No, no. What else do we kind of got going for our fonts here? Let's go on to page two here. And uh, this one's actually not bad. This built titling here. Uh, it's not as large in the bottom here, but I actually like the general shape of this. Uh, let's do another quick little look, but I think we're going to go back and grab that one. It's a bit too deep of an M there. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's the winner for now. So let's take this font and we're going to click download. Uh, I'm just going to save this onto my desktop, uh, but I recommend you save this font file into your folder. If you save the font file into your folder, then you'll be able to access your work from any computer, not just the one you were sitting in. So I'm going to click save there, and let's go back to my desktop here and open up the font that we got. And uh, you notice here there's actually a lot of font files. So the question is, which one do we open? Well, let's go into our built titling here. And we can see all the different fonts we're looking at. We probably want the built titling bold is what I kind of imagine. Yeah, we've got a bolder font, so let's go for the bold here. So we want the built titling bold, so let's go back to here. And built titling fold, that's the one we want. So we open it up, and we're going to click install. Excellent, so that's all installed. Let's go back to our poster here. Let's go back to our text tool, click the D key, and select our font. Then up here at the font selection, there's our built titling. Excellent. Okay, so uh, now next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this font a little bit larger. So we can go to our font size over here in our character window and we can scale that up. Okay, that is looking pretty good. Let's center that there. Excellent. Okay, so we have uh, a few issues here we need to kind of uh, resolve. Um, I'm thinking we're going to want to uh, space out these letters a tiny bit more and reduce the space in between the text here. So we're going to go to Window, and we're going to go to Character to open up our Character panel here. Okay, uh, it might already be here with a little A. You can just kind of remove that and uh, uh, and pop that open whenever you need to. Okay, so here's your font size. Uh, this uh, this is the spacing between your fonts here. 
right? So we can lower this amount and we can get these fonts a little bit closer together. Excellent, that looks pretty good. You can increase the spacing between your fonts there. That's a bit, that looks pretty good actually. I am pretty happy with that. That looks nice, excellent. Okay, so let's bring in the uh, Fury Road that we're gonna kind of see in between the Mad Backs there. So let's create, we don't need this one here, let's delete that layer. Let's create a new font layer. So let's go to our text tool and let's uh, click and let's type Fury Road. I spelled that wrong, kind of hard to see when it's small, but Fury Road, excellent. Okay, so there's our Fury Road. Let's grab our color from this to make sure it's the correct color. Click OK and let's scale this up. Okay. Uh, we're going to want the uh, built titling font as well. And now let's scale it down so it fits in between the lines nicely. Oops, wrong font there. We want to grab the Fury Road font. Okay, there we go. Let's grab Fury Road here. And the obvious issue here is that layers we're constantly grabbing this layer all the time when we don't mean to so i'm actually going to lock that mad max layer for now so i'm not grabbing it by mistake there we go that's nicer now let's just nudge that up with the arrow keys okay so the fury road is the right height now but we're actually going to want to space out those letters a lot more and we're going to do that right here so we're just going to drag this over and let's space out these letters uh so we have a bit more room so it fits nicely between the mad max okay down a little bit more a little bit more. Excellent. Okay, so that's looking good. So we got a good font choice now. We have the correct color, uh, uh, good kerning and spacing between our letters and between our lines here. The letting looks good. Um, so the next thing we need to do now is this textured effect that we have here over the Mad Max. It, it's uh, probably supposed to represent like an oil stain or something along those lines. Um, so we need to get a texture that's going to replicate that so we can get this stained look over top of our text. Okay, so in order to do that, let's just open up a new tab and let's search for, so if I search for oil, stain, texture, for example, and just hop on images, uh, we can see a bunch of images here that have these dots and spots, um, and we might be able to find something that's got a matching pattern to what we're looking for. Um, that looks okay. Uh, let's see if we can get something here. Change the textures around a little bit. That might work. Uh, with textures, sometimes you'll just have to play around it and find something that works good. Let's see if we can get a high resolution version of this. So let's open that image in a new tab. Okay, now we got some watermarks in here, but it actually won't really affect what we're doing. So let's take this texture now. Let's right click. Let's copy image. Let's go back to Photoshop. And we're going to paste that image. Okay, so what I want to do now with this texture image, and uh, we'll call this uh, texture main. And we're going to put this texture over top of our Mad Max text. Now let's go to Edit, Transform, Scale. Let's scale this up. Okay, and actually let's rotate this. So that's just a scale command. Uh, now we can go to Edit, Transform, Rotate. And let's rotate this over because it looks like we got a lot more dirt in that upper side there. So we'll do the same with ours. And let's just hit the check mark to place it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a clipping mask. And a clipping mask is going to take the uh, shape of the layer below it. In this case, it's our Mad Max text. And it's going to clip this top layer into the shape of the layer below. So in order to do that, we're going to right click on there. We're going to go to create clipping mask. And now we have the Mad Max in the uh, shape of the layer below. Okay. And we're just going to do that same thing very quick for the Fury Road. Let's just lock our Fury Road layer so we don't uh, mess up that. And let's go to edit and paste again. Let's uh, scale that up. Excellent. Okay, confirm that scale and right click uh, create clipping mask. Okay, but as you probably noticed, we have lost our color when we do a clipping mask. And in order to remedy that, we're going to use something called a blending mode. A blending mode kind of looks at the, uh, the, the light, the allows you to lighten or darken changing the opacity, uh, really ramping up the contrast. It's a way to take a layer and make it a bit more transparent and it interacts nicer with the layer that's underneath. So in order to do that, we're gonna take our texture main here. Let's just call this texture secondary. Let's take our texture main and let's change our clipping, our blending mode here from normal. And you can see dissolve, no real difference. You can go down to darken 
So you can see with Darken now, we're actually able to see the color underneath a little bit. Uh, and we can actually just use the arrow keys up and down to kind of go through the different options we have here until we find something that we like. Overlay looks okay, a bit too yellow almost. Let's see what else we got here. We've got some inversions there. Luminosity isn't bad, but it's not quite yellow enough. Let's kind of go back up to the top and look at these first couple again. Oh, the multiply looks pretty nice. I'm actually I think I'm pretty happy with that multiply there. Uh, and so let's take our texture secondary and switch it to multiply as well. Excellent. Okay. Well, that was a very uh, quick and easy lesson on how to bring text in, how to match it up to your poster, um, and uh, use blending modes and clipping masks to kind of create a textured, stylized look for your movie poster. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and we will see you later.